Hello. Hello. Welcome to an animal tastic show. Connie? Yes. What are you doing? You look like you've just been on an adventure. <laughs> I haven't, but this lot in the back cab. It's the Planet Earth team, and they are back gracing your TV screens, taking you to parts of the world you could have only ever imagined before. The recent series has taken us from the deepest, darkest points of the planet to the very highest tips of the globe. It's shown us unbelievable views of our planet Earth. The team have followed animals in their natural habitats, capturing them on camera as they've never been seen before. Oh, wow, it is an amazing series, and we are privileged enough to have Justine, cameraman extraordinaire, and director Johnny here in the studio. So you've just got back from Botswana. Right. What were you looking at there? We were filming lions hunting elephants uh, in the African savannah. Lions hunting elephants? Yeah. So lions eat elephants, then, do they? There we can see it, a bit of it. Yeah, it's a very rare thing, but uh, in one place, in, in Botswana, mm -hmm. they, they hunt elephants. Um, most nights. Really? And yeah. so an elephant's quite a hefty creature. How many lions could an elephant feed? Um, it's the pride's about 40 strong and mm. uh, they would feed one elephant would feed the whole pride for perhaps a week or so. Wow, yeah. that's a, pretty much a feast it's safe to say. It's funny because an elephant seems so big compared to a lion. You'd mm. think you'd just trample it or something. Yeah, there's quite a battle that goes on between the two of them, um, you know, each night. Must be quite horrific. I'd, I'd hate to imagine the noises that you'd hear there. Oh. Yeah. Now, all of that was filmed in night vision at night time. Apart from being able to see the animals, what are the benefits of filming at night? Um, well, the, the lions really only hunt at night because it's cooler. Right. And so we, that's when we had, to, we had to try and film them at that time. Um, and also, we're trying not to um, disturb the animals at all. Mm -hmm. So we're trying to sort of just film them in their natural behaviour and not make any kind of... Um, because it's dark, they're oblivious exactly, that you're there. Yeah, you're exactly. not being intrusive. OK, yeah. we can see a little bit more now, I believe. Let's have a look. They search the savannah using infrared lights and night vision goggles. No, can't see or hear any lines. Um, how about you, over? <laughs> No, I'm not a lion, but <laughs> I am suppose I'm in the lion's den here. Yes. How close are you? It's incredible. Very close. It's quite scary. And it's amazing how you see them all. I mean, how do you actually see the animals at night? How do you film them? Well, we use this special camera, which is an infrared camera, and uh, it can see in the dark with the use of these lights up here, which are special infrared lights, which are not visible to our eyes or to the animal's eyes. But if you look through here, you can see the image. Amazing. OK, yeah. well, we can actually see how effective infrared cameras are. If we turn all the studio lights off or bring them down to that, it's very dark. It's like night time. Uh, you can't see much. But if we turn the infrared uh, cameras and lights on like that, Wait, look how much you can see. Are. It's incredible. Hello. Hello, everybody. Yeah. It's really clear, isn't it? It's weird. It's so weird. <laughs> Your eyes look very you, funny. I believe it's great. <laughs> what else can we see around the studio? Can we see some of that? Where Where's are Lucy our pets? Mabel? They were here a minute ago. They've probably run off socks. somewhere. They're, oh, there, they're, they are. there we are, look. Oh, socks well, are like pets. it. So, well, they're not really doing much in the dark. There are Hi, guys, can you see Hello. me? Hello. Uh, unlike my friend here, he does a lot in the dark. This is Barney. He's a five-year-old barn oil, and uh, he's very nocturnal. He's got lots of features which make him great in the dark, like his lovely big eyes. Can you see those? And also his face. It's actually shaped like in a satellite dish, so he can really hear very well. And also, if he's hungry and he wants a bit of dinner, he likes short-tailed voles and he can actually hear their heartbeat from 20 metres away. So if you can't wow. see them, he can hear them and go and pick them out for dinner. Isn't that great? Cool. Now, Gethin, I know that recently you've just overcome your fear of the darkness, but <laughs> here's a bit of a combination for you. Yeah. Now that we're in the dark, I'd like you to meet some animals that like to live in the dark. Well, they're Barney's friends. Well, mm, yeah. I mean, he does meet them when he's That's out and about flying at night. But if you Good come luck. with me, <laughs> I've just arranged a little area. I mean, I'd love you to meet these guys. I was going to bring in one, and I thought, oh, no, the more the merrier. So Where are you taking me? It's really, it's really dark I know, it in here. It is really Where tricky to see, me? but look, I'll open this door. Just be careful and step over that front bit. I know it's hard to see. Yep, just step Simon. in. There's a seat in there. I've arranged it all very nicely for you. I don't trust you. you. What are you no, doing? No, no, trust me, trust me. Just sit back, relax, What's and, you it? know, you'll get a chance to meet these lovely furry what, animals. What's... Oh, OK. Oh, there they are. Okay. They're, ah, <laughs> get ah, in. the rats. Uh, How do you feel about rats? They are rats! Well, did you know that in the UK, oh, again, there are 16 well, million ah, rats oh, running about? Sorry, but don't worry, oh, we haven't got all 16 million of them in there. How weird is that? 
Right. Yeah, it's very strange. I can imagine there's loads oh, in there. Yeah, Did you know that at any one time, Gethin, what? you're only going to be nine metres away from the, of a rat, nine wherever you are in the UK. But yeah, right you're right certainly right. a lot closer than nine metres. Did you know that a pack of rats is called a mischief? Do you know what? I hope they're not going to do anything really too mischievous in there. Someone just peed on me. Oh no, I hope they haven't. Oh, what's that one doing? Yeah, Th thanks for that. It's all really nice. Lovely Gethin, to meet you're coping really well. I think, I think you've made really good friends with them. I think they like you. Do you think? Yeah. <laughs> oh, let's put him out of his misery. Although he is a Blue Peter presenter. Keep him in there. Let's put the lights up now. Oh, that's a better. Well done, Gethin. Now, uh, a big thank you to Justine and Johnny. And if you would like to see the Planet Earth series, I highly recommend it. You can catch it Saturday evening, 6.10 on BBC Two. And if you're a huge fan and you would like a copy of the DVD box set, then why not go to the Blue Peter website? There you can see the rats enjoying it there. And you could get your hands on one. Hmm.